Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll be taking a short look at the best received weapons and systems in our series, including M134 minigun, anti-ship cruise missiles, V-22 Osprey, the Iron Beam laser weapon system, MK-19, and M-777. So, get ready for a wild ride as we dive into the world of military technology. We'll see you on the other side. Let's start with the Old Painless, aka the M134 minigun. Don't let the name mislead you though. It earned the minigun name from being a smaller version of the M61, which is a very big gun. This weapon is a favorite in movies and video games. If you're thinking of the famous scene where Arnold Schwarzenegger is firing his M134 minigun right now, we'll have to tell you the boring truth. M134 doesn't have an official handheld version. The gun alone weighs 85 pounds. Now add the weight of the ammunition box, the feeding mechanism, the power source, and that insane rate of fire. You can see where we are getting at. But the sound it makes is awesome. Next, we have anti-ship cruise missiles. These missiles are designed to attack and destroy naval vessels and are typically launched from ships, aircraft or land-based platforms. With their ability to maneuver and evade countermeasures, these missiles are a formidable threat to any ship that comes within their range. On April the 13th, Ukraine shocked the world when it launched two anti-ship cruise missiles, scoring decisive hits that sunk the Russian Black Sea Fleet flagship Moskva. This attack on the flagship of the Black Sea Fleet of the Russian Federation, missile cruiser Moskva was the first confirmed use of missiles R-360 Neptune and the RK-360 MC Neptune complex. Enter the V-22 Osprey. This marvelous machine is a tail rotor aircraft developed by the United States military. It is designed to take off and land vertically like a helicopter, but it can also fly like an airplane thanks to its rotors, which can tilt to a horizontal position. It can be used for a variety of military and civilian purposes, including transportation, search and rescue, and medical evacuation. The V-22 Osprey has been used in a number of high-profile missions, including the rescue of American hostages in Iran in 2020, and the evacuation of U.S. Embassy personnel in Libya in 2014. Israel's Iron Beam laser weapon system is a more recent development in military technology. It is the world's first energy-based weapons system that uses a laser. The system is developed by Rafael, funded by the MOD and underwritten by the United States. It is intended for two laser guns to initially produce 100 to 150 kilowatts of power. The system can shoot down incoming UAVs, rockets, and mortars at the cost of $3.5 per shot. While the cost of defeating an incoming threat with a laser may be low, the price of acquiring and maintaining this technology is not. Although this system alone is not sufficient for now, it will be an effective and cheaper solution when integrated into the existing Iron Dome missile system. So yes, Creating energy weapons is finally within our reach. And then we hosted a classic weapon, the venerable MK-19 grenade launcher. Yes, it really is a machine gun that shoots grenades. The MK-19 was designed in the mid-1960s and was extensively used during the late stages of the Vietnam War. 
The MK-19 is still greatly appreciated for its capability to fire high numbers of 40mm grenades precisely out to a distance of approximately 4,921 feet. MK-19 has seen considerable wartime service since, including operations in the Vietnam War, the Gulf War and the Lebanon War, as well as the American involvement in Afghanistan and Iraq. There have been reports that the Ukrainian armed forces have received a new batch of MK-19s from the United States to help the country fend off a potential Russian invasion. And finally, we have M777. M777 is a 155mm 39 caliber towed gun that through proven technology and the innovative use of titanium and aluminum alloys meets the requirements for rapidly deployable and accurate artillery fire support. When the West and NATO countries recognized that the war of Russian aggression in Ukraine had largely devolved into dueling artillery exchanges, they decided to send one of the best artillery pieces around today. And almost immediately after their arrival in Ukraine in May, reports of M777 systems destroying Russian targets began emerging on social media. With the aid of special ammunition, the M777 can reach a target at 25 miles with a circular error probable of 16 feet. As Ukraine troops engaged in artillery duels with the invaders in the eastern regions, the M982 Excalibur Special Munition and other lower-cost precision-guided munition kits were most likely used to surgically destroy Russian command posts and command and control centers. Fire! 